today I'm going to be doing a luxury versus budget beauty video and that's basically just me comparing two products, one high end, one sort of drugstore high street. I know the budget one isn't necessarily cheap, you'll see, but they're kind of more the high street drugstore products. And I'm just going to compare them and tell you my thoughts because quite a few of them are quite similar actually and I'll try and pick a winner if I can. So the first product is hair masks and I've got one here from Ojon which you guys know is one of my favourite brands for hair and this is from the Damage Reverse range and this is the Restorative Hair Treatment Plus and it's the plus one because it has a lighter scent to it because I think the original one had a really horrible scent and a lot of people complained so this is the one with a lighter scent. Um, it's got Ojon oil in it of course, it's really intense treatment. It basically looks like this, it's like a hard balm and you just scoop a bit out into your hands, rub it between your hands and it turns into an oil and then I just put it through the hair, when your hair's dry, this is before you shampoo it. So you put it through dry hair and leave it for like 20 minutes um, and it's like a really nice thick oil. And this is really good for my kind of hair, just really dry and damaged hair. This mask is £32, so it's quite pricey. The budget buy I have for this one is the Charles Worthington Moisture Seal Intense Rescue Melting Balm. And this you can pick up from Boots or Superdrug. And this is such a good hair mask, I've been loving using this. It looks pretty much the same, it's a different colour, but it's a hard balm. I use an old lid from a product to scoop it out so it doesn't all get in my nails. And it feels hard, but once you start rubbing it between your hands, it turns into an oil and then you can just easily spread it through your dry hair. This one smells really good actually, I like the smell of this one, it smells like a, when you get your hair done in the hairdressers. The Charles Worthington one is only £11, so I think this is a really good deal. And I think this one will actually work on more hair types, because the Ojon one, even though I really like it, it's very intense. And I think if you have slightly oilier hair or thinner hair it would just be too heavy whereas this one I think would work if on all types of hair so I'm going to pick the Charles Worthington one as my winner out of the two because I think it's a really good deal for £11 and I really recommend picking one of these up. So the next two products are makeup base and I don't actually use a lot of drugstore high street foundations I'm not sure why I just never really find any that I love but I have found one now, you saw it in my monthly favourites, and it's the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. Um, and this has SPF 20. And the one I'm comparing it with is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, which is also SPF 20. I really like the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I've had this for a long time. I don't use it that often because the shade is too dark for me. But when I do, I always really enjoy it. It's expensive, it's around £33 depending where you buy it. Um, I like to use my hands to rub this in, I find it quite hard to blend with a brush, I'm not sure why it just doesn't really work for me, so I always use my hands. And um, this for me is a very summer product, maybe because the shade's too dark for me, but I don't tend to wear it all year round. The Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, even though this is a foundation, I think it's really comparable to the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I think they're both a light to medium coverage. They kind of give a similar finish, although with the Revlon I do like to use a buffing brush and I find that I can use a brush with this one. Um, but yeah, I find them really similar and I love my Laura Mercier, but for £33, the Revlon is about 8 eight ninety nine, depending where you buy it. I think it might be worth picking up this one over this one. Um, giving it a go first, seeing what you think. The Laura Mercier one comes in a few different finishes. There's an illuminating one and an oil-free one. So there are more options, whereas the Revlon just comes in one. Um, they both have quite a few shades. So I think for this one, even though I love Laura Mercier, I'm going to pick Revlon as the winner because I think this is a really good drugstore foundation. The next category is skincare stuff, and I have two masks here, and they're both hydrating masks, which is what I like to use on my skin type. First one is Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask, which I have spoken loads about. It's kind of got a huge dent in the middle because I've used so much of it. And the second one is the La Roche-Posay Hydrophrase Intense Mask. And I haven't spoken about this one yet, I don't think. So the Origins one, I'll quickly run through it if you haven't seen me talk about it already. It's £20 for this mask and you basically put it on your cleansed skin at night and you leave it overnight. And in the morning, most of the product would have sunken into your skin, but if there's any left, you can just rub it in or wipe it away. It smells incredible, like apricots and peaches, and it's a lovely, lovely smell. This it does wonders for my dehydrated skin. I absolutely love it, and I'll repurchase it again and again. The La Roche-Posay mask is £15, so it's only £5 difference. Um, it is a drugstore high street brand, but yeah, it is quite expensive, I know, for like a budget buy, it's not really budget. La Roche-Posay is a French brand if you don't know and it's really good, they have really great products. 
This mask is white. It's kind of white with like a blue tint to it. It's really strange actually. But this one isn't exactly the same. You don't leave it on overnight, you just leave it on for 10 minutes. But after you've had it on for 10 minutes, you don't wash it off. You just rub in any that's left or just wipe it off with a cotton wool pad. I found that it did leave a slight sticky, greasy residue, so I kind of used a toner to get it off afterwards. I think this is really good for a quick fix if you need some hydration in your skin and you don't want to use an overnight mask. But personally, I prefer the Origins and this has to be the winner for me. The next two products are for the shower and I have another Origins product. I'm a little bit obsessed. And it's the Origins Ginger Burst Body Wash and the Soap and Glory Whipped Clean. And these are both really, really nice. The Origins Ginger range, I absolutely love the scent of. This is the sort of product you'll only like if you like the scent. Um, so go and have a sniff at an Origins counter. They have loads of products and they're all the same scent. And I just think it's really refreshing. I love using this in the morning. Um, it's not like a gel, it's more of like a, it says body wash, I can't really explain it, but it's a bit more creamy and luxurious than a shower gel. Um, I really, really like this. This is 16 pounds, which is a little bit pricey, but I've only gone up to there and I've used loads, so I think it will last a really long time. The Soap and Glory Whipped Clean is £8. You can get this from Boots and Superdrug, any kind of high street drugstore place. And it's a shower butter, so it's a really, really thick cream. And this bottle is huge. You get so much for your money. Um, the thing that I don't love about this is the scent. It's pistachio, almond and sweet vanilla. It's a little bit too sweet for me. Hopefully they'll kind of bring out some other scents maybe, because I'd love this if it was in a different smell, because it's so softening on your skin. It's like a really thick cream and it leaves your soft feeling amazing. I really like Soap and Glory shower products, so I was very impressed with this, but I don't love the scent. So I'm going to have to pick Origins as my winner because the ginger smell is just incredible. I absolutely love it, but you can buy two of these for the price of one of these, so maybe go and have a see if you like the smell of this first because it's definitely a good budget buy. The final category are lip products, which is the most exciting one, I think. And I have two very similar products that have very different price tags. The first one is the Rimmel Apocalypse, which was launched recently. I did a whole blog post on it, so I'll link that below. And the second one is the Hourglass Opaque Rouge, or Rouge Opaque, I always forget which way around it is. And these are both kind of liquid lipstick, lip lacquer kind of things. Rimmel Apocalypse are £5.99 and the Hourglass is £23, so there's an absolute huge difference here. You can see straight away that the Rimmel Apocalypse is quite a big product and the Hourglass is in like a little bullet. They both have very similar doe font, I think that's how you say it, applicator. The Rimmel one, um, has like a little pool of product inside it and the hourglass one has quite a bendy tip which I like for kind of precision application. The hourglass one applies very wet but the minute you kind of press your lips together it dries and sets like a stain and it's kind of impossible to budge. It lasts all day and all night. I really like that about it. It's very very long lasting. Um, I don't know if the blog post will go up yet, but I have a blog post of me wearing this colour, which is Icon, so I'll link that below if it's already up, but it's an amazing kind of deep dark red colour. The Rimmel Apocalypse goes on quite wet, and it stays wet for longer compared to the Hourglass. It's got quite a glossy finish, and it does feel a little bit wet on the lips, which is something I don't love because you kind of get your hair stuck to your lips and the wind blows and stuff. But um, these come in loads of colours, the Rimmel Apocalypse. I'm, I really like them, I raved about them in my blog already. And I think these are really good budget buy and there's amazing colours. I think my favourite is Stella. I think this one's Stella actually. Yeah, this one's Stella and it's like a really bright pinky coral colour. I think for this one I'm going to pick Hourglass, although I think these are incredible too. And definitely the price tag is amazing on these. But if you want to treat yourself to an amazing lip product, I think these are really good and there's some really amazing colours. I just like that they set like a stain and don't move because I hate having to reapply lipstick all the time. So if you're going to go out for a meal, this is kind of the perfect lip product. And there's a bright red as well called Raven, which is amazing. So there, those are all my luxury and budget beauty products. Um, I hope you like this kind of video. Let me know what you thought because I have more products that I could do a similar thing with, kind of comparing them if you want me to. So let me know what you thought of it and thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!